everybody. Good afternoon. This is Jean here um, from True Love Quilts for You. Must excuse my appearance. I've been busy this morning, um, this afternoon. This morning, actually, I was um, making a video for my patron people. And uh, as you know, um, the, the people who contribute to my tip jar, my sewing room via Patreon, um, they, they get a other videos I've been busy doing videos for them and this was the one video I've done for them this is a quilt as you go seasonal table runner very very simple I used a bunch of not almost you can use scraps a little bit of batting and a backing and some binding I did this little table runner for them quilt as you go um, and then somebody after after three or four weeks I, I um, choose a person to that I send my project slash tutorial to um, every month they they get the tutorial as I was doing this quilt as you go very simple way to make I like to do it for table runners for placemats for uh, mug rugs for pot holders I don't love quilt as you go I don't love quilt as you go for large blocks I know a lot of people do awesome you quilt you make a block you quilt it with the backing and the batting and then you attach the blocks together somehow with sashing or something you have to sew. I'm, I'm not quite so sure how to do that um, but to me it would seem like you'd have to wrangle those quilted blocks to sew it together through the machine so anyway I don't love quilt as you go but for these small projects it is awesome so I had made that and I was thinking I wondered if I could make experiment and this is what it has been I'm going to take you through my thought process experimental afternoon um, I was wondering could I make a Dresden plate quilt as you go it 90% worked <laughs> it's not quite finished I just pulled it off my sewing machine I still have to get out Malia's little baby machine to do a blanket stitch I made a little quilt as you go completely not washable little table topper why is it not washable it's not it's quilted but it's quilted on felt that's a piece of felt can't really wash felt so this is purely decorative for the holiday table for a lovely flower arrangement or something of that nature not to spill your turkey gravy on because it's not going to wash or you spot clean it and and I haven't yet to finish it as I said I have to blanket stitch the black fabric on I've glued it which I will show you in my sort of semi tutorial coming up um, but it's just glued and pinned right now and then I used um, my my uh, f I used my pinking shears to just cut the edge of the um, felt around and I, I, I'll show you how I did that just so it has it's almost like a little shadow you see the felt on the table um, but it doesn't fray obviously felt doesn't fray. you could just cut it straight but I think add a little bit of touch my your, your quilting your um, pinking shears and then I just used a I used a um excuse me I used a uh, mason jar lid made it a little bigger for the patch inside so my as I say it's a semi tutorial because um, to make this size Dresden plate you do need a Dresden plate template ruler I have made there's about three other videos of me making Dresden plates Malia and I made one a table topper for her made a big song and dance of it this is much easier um, this is really easy <laughs> to a certain extent because I messed up a bit or I didn't mess up it messed up and you'll see how why I'm thinking I still can't figure it out because when you use this Dresden plate template this is an 8 inch template it makes about a 17 or an 18 inch diameter you know circle table topper this is a Dresden plate I'll tell you all about it who it's from you need that you cut out 20 blades these are called the blades or the fans you cut out 20 of them and what I did is I cut out as you can see the orange and it prints about five different prints that I used twice well I lay it out as I do visually as you know I lay out things visually um, and I sort of compensate for the quarter inch seam going around it um, and I you you stick you I sewed the blades onto the felt right sides together well when I pinned it it looked fine <laughs> and then as I was sewing it it shrunk it shrunk to the point where I had one whole extra space the 20 blades had already been taken up so I had to add another blade I had to add a bit of my I had to add a, a, another blade um, and I had to mess about with it and jiggery poker it so because it didn't match it didn't fit so I don't know 
I don't know quite what happened there. I had to add this piece and then I went to do it again. So it's, can you see my glaring mistakes? Not really, not really. It's pretty for what it is. Didn't take me long at all. And I think it's very effective. I think it's very effective. So can you, uh, can you successfully quilt as you go a Dresden plate? Well, I sort of just did um, with a bit of messing about. But I, I, think, I think for a little project, it's awesome. You know, you got your finished blades here. It's it's super. Again, not not a quilt quilt, just a decorative little item here. So this is what I did. Um, so that's the, sort of the semi tutorial to follow. What you need: hunk of a hunk of felt, some pretty holiday fabric, some scraps. You could do it. As you know, you can either have two colors on a Dresden plate, four, twenty different ones, um, or twenty one blades, <laughs> as it turned out. You'll see what how, how as I was progressing is funny. Um, uh, I'm filming this on a Monday. Oh, no, I'm filming this on Wednesday, whatever day it is. And the last, this past weekend, we had a uh, gender reveal for our son. I was telling you about that, if you're following. And Jean-Pierre and his wife, Caitlin, are having their first little baby boy. It's a baby boy. I knew about it. I knew about it about a month ago. So I made a quilt. Um, and they had uh, made a blue pretty quilt and a pillow. Uh, decorative pillow, decorative pillow. Um, I have a, an embroidery machine. I was going to embroider the name. I couldn't be bothered. So I got, I got iron on letters. It worked very well. They named him, and I'll put some pictures up at the end of this. They named him Warren Langston True Love, coming in 2020. And Warren, it was very sweet. My son's name is Jean-Pierre Warren James. And um, he's used to the middle name Warren, which was after my brother. I have five older brothers. And when my brother was 38 years old, he was a bachelor. Um, Long story short, he, he got leukemia, and 28 days later, from being healthy, leukemia, 28 days later, he was dead. Um, he was 31 years old. Very tragic, very sudden, terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, and so that was our Warren, and everybody loved Warren very, very much. He was a very kind, quiet gentleman. He really was. And so Jean-Pierre has always heard of his name, Warren. Um, Jean-Pierre Warren James. So they decided to name their baby boy, or will name their baby boy Warren. Very, very sweet. Warren Langston, which is just a name, I don't know, a cool millennial name <laughs> that they just pulled out. It's, it's sweet. So we had our gender reveal. Jen went to her picnic, where if you saw the quilt, my, they, I sh I'll show you a picture of the, um, the host and hostess on the quilt that I had made um, for the little kitty ones. We had a busy, busy weekend. Um, but then this is it. Um, I decided to just do this little topper for you guys, and I hope you love it. I'm going to go finish it up here, put a little, put a little um, blanket stitch, black blanket stitch around it. Um, yeah, have a go, and um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And again, thank you so very much. Visit me at my shop, my Etsy shop, True Love Quilts for You, um, and come on over to Patreon if you want to see some more exclusive videos that I'm making, and maybe you can win a, win one of the prizes, one of the tutorials, the little projects I make. All right, folks, so thank you again, and we will talk to you later. See ya. Okay, folks, you may or may not be seeing this tutorial. <laughs> and um, if you are, yay! I'm just experimenting with something. Um, so bear with me, because I've never really done this before. What, I've, what I have done t this morning is I had made a... Um, a uh, tutorial, very fast, quick tutorial, for a quilt as you go. I made a quilt as you go table runner. Now, as you know, I don't particularly love quilt as you go projects uh, for large things. I don't like to put quilts together using a quilt as you go method, but for this little table runner here, I made this quilt as you go. Just I had made that and I was sort of on a roll and I thought, well, I, I was wondering if I could actually make a, um, a holiday topper um, quilt as you go Dresden plate. Now, I've never done this before. So, as I said, may or may not work out. Um, but what I have here and in my mind, um, this is the sort of the what I'm going to try to do here. I have this. You, you need it. You need a. The, you need the actual Dresden plate ruler if you are going to attempt to do this project. This is. I've. I've, you, I've shown you this before. Um, this is um, Darlene Zimmerman, an eight-inch Dresden plate ruler, easy quilting, and this is www. 
simplicity.com. Um, you can probably get an 8-inch Dresden plate ruler. This is the one I am using. There you go. By Darlene Zimmerman. Now, I have cut my fabric, my Dresden plate fabric. Um, sort of, I had used a, a few of the, the um, pieces that I had done on this plate, on this uh, table runner here. I had used a few of these fabrics, plus a few more. What I've done is I have cut, if you've watched my other Dresden plate tutorials, you know that you can, you can use 20 different fabrics. You need to cut 20 of these. You, need, you can cut 20 different fabrics. You can cut two different fabrics and just alternate it. What I have done is I have 10 orange that I'm going to alternate with these autumn prints here, which I have cut two of each fabric. I have one, two, three, four, five fabrics that I've cut two each. So it will be orange print, orange print, orange print, orange print, and then around the board. Now, the quilt as you go, how, do, how are we going to do that? I, I don't know. <laughs> but I have, I have done, again, for my, um, uh, uh, for my patron people uh, months ago, a little, a little tiny little mug rugs. And instead of making them and binding them, eh, little Dresden plate mug rugs, what I had done is I, I backed them with felt. I had backed them with felt, little tiny little things. They were sweet. And I gave them away. I, um, to, to, I, I picked a name random, and I sent my, my projects to a person. I had done three. One that went a little bit smaller, um, just like under a coffee cup. They were done out of shabby chic fabrics, and I backed them with felt. And I thought, well, since this is going to be not a not a, a table runner that your turkey's going to get all spilled on or your gravy. Maybe just for a, a centerpiece that you know it's not going to need washing. That's the point. Can't really wash felt. So this isn't going to be a washable, usable table runner that you can wash and iron. It's going to really truly be decorative, spot cleaning only. So I have some brown velvet. I'm not, I don't quite have a clue how much I need. I've had some brown velvet, and I think that I'm going to try to line it as opposed to just putting these on here with my, um, my fabric here. Um, oh, I, or, or, oh, no, I can, actually, if I want to do it as cool as you go. See, this is, see, I thought I'd just make a big circle and then do that. Oh, well, actually, I could. Okay, so bear with me, folks. Bear with me now. Um... No, I can't use that. It's going to be too hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a decent size. I'm going to cut a decent size piece of felt. It's not going to be this big. My Dresden plate is quite big, but I'm going to cut it down. And again, you will see. So this piece of felt here, which I, will, I can gently iron it. It's about 26 inches by, I'd say, 24 inches. So I'm going to go iron that, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my machine, and just like in a regular Dresden plate, I'm going to take my Dresden plate blades. These are the blades. There's 20 of them. I haven't done the circle yet. Don't worry about that. We'll get to that, to that in the end. And I'm going to put the right sides together, pretty sides together. And I'm just going to sew across a quarter of an inch. Very, very important that you just go a quarter of an inch. I can chain piece all of my blades right across. And I'll take you over to my machine. So I'm at my machine. As, an, as you can see, I have chain pieced of uh, 17. I have three more to go of my Dresden plate fans. This is how they come off as you cut them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pretty sides together on the top edge, and I'm just sliding that under my, my uh, presser foot there, quarter of an inch, and I just fold them as I go along on my machine, and I will have done 20 of these. And off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them all apart 
I won't bore you. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is holding my, holding, if you've seen my Dresden plate tutorials before, holding the point with my thumb, I'm going to push that point up there. I'm going to push that point if you want, if you need a chopstick or a pointy thing. And you're pressing the seam to one side inside and centering it. You can just eyeball that. Let's push this right up. Make a nice point. Make sure you don't go through your fabric. Just centering that with the seam on one side. You would have a nice finished edge to your top piece. Okay, put your thumb in. Pull, pull the seam to one side. Pull, push the point up. Keep the seam to one side. And then center it. Now we're going to go back. We're going to go over to our ironing board. Once that's nice and centered, you can eyeball that. And we're going to iron them the, so we have nice finished points. I'm going to do that with all 20 of my fans here. Pull the point out and do that. All right, and then I will be back. So what I have done um, is I have sewn all of my uh, blades my blade tops you must you must excuse me i'm really just thinking this through as i go along i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do here so i've sewn my 10 uh orange blades the tops together and i've pressed them it's a nice finished edge and then in it i have excuse me in an order i have these okay i have two of each and i've started out one, two, three, four, five, and then repeated it. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's going to work. I have my piece of felt here, which is really very big. You'll see as I cut this down. But what I, let me just put this here. What I'm not quite sure is I wanted to do a quilt as you go, but um, I, I also wanted to uh, like sort of line this because I don't particularly want, I don't particularly want, um, I don't want just this fabric on the brown because it sort of dulls it down. That's why I thought I'll put a piece of white fabric underneath my blades, um, which, I, which I may do. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, just, just eyeballing this here. Take in there. Uh, starting sort of in the middle because I know that my I know that I'm it's going to be like that about that big yeah about that big so what I'm going to do is I'm going to eyeball a quarter of an inch where this would be this is not my this is obviously not sewn yet but to try and I'm not worried about this bit in here as you as I'm not with Dresden plates I'm compensating for this quarter inch seam if this quilt as I go method sort of works for me. I'm alternating. I'm alternating the orange and the print. And, and what I would be doing is I'll be sewing them on right onto this piece of fabric here, right onto my felt. A quilt as you go would be quilted as I've go as I've gone. <laughs> so let me just see. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, I may not need a. I actually I may not need a. Um. I may not need the lining fabric. So it's not really a tutorial. It's just me tr messing about, really, to see if I can do this. Cause it's sort of like a a quilt as you go Dresden plate. I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> Like I said, you may or may not be seeing this this um, this this thing, this video. Oh, is it going to work? Oh, wait a second. Now. Okay, we'll have to pull it out a little bit. I got to be wary of of how it's getting sewn because yeah. Oh, well, there you go. That's a quarter inch, and that's a quarter inch. Just these are a little bit wonky. So actually, I might. What do you think? I don't. Maybe. Maybe I don't even need the the um. Yeah. Maybe I don't even need the back the backing. Yeah. So 
this is a little bit, so now what I'm figuring out with my quarter inch seam here, Dresden plates are, or you want them to lay flat as it is. So what I'm thinking with my quarter inch seam and quilting it and then it's done, it's done, is I'm going to, I'm just think I'm going to secure onto here, I'm just going to secure each, you know, sort of the, the blades, just in, just carefully. You, you, you'll see what I mean in a minute. It's sort of like a quarter inch seam. You'll see what I mean when I go over to my machine. Because I'm going to lift up each one and I'm going to start sewing the seams. I'm going to sew the right sides together. I just wanted to secure them in the shape. Huh, that's pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, and then what I'm going to do, well, when I get to it, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a, a circle on, and then I'm going to cut out, because felt, um, felt does not fray. I'm just going to cut out a right around, right around the edge. Now, I might blanket stitch that down, but I don't think I will because that defeats the purpose. Oh, I'll see how I go. But I'm going to go right over to my machine now and show you maybe the next step. <laughs> so, uh, here I am at my machine. Now, uh, yeah, quilt as you go is um, you're actually sewing onto your backing. You're, 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 you're seaming, you're piecing, and you're sort of quilting. We're not quilting this. It's just a it's just a little topper. Again, bear with me. So, let me just start here or here. Let me start here. Take this pin out. And then that's secured there. And I'm going to stitch I should be getting, I'm going to match up this seam really good here. This point there, but I'm going to start down here. And as you can see, they not because I'm, I'm not bothered about what's going on in here, but I do want this seam here. Now I'm going to do a quarter of an inch, really very carefully do a quarter of an inch seam. And I'm sewing through the, the um, pieces, the blades, and the, the, the felt, obviously. Which will be the back of our, the back of my topper. I'm going to do a small little back stitch right to the end there. Now, with my good scissors, oh, excuse me, I want to, when I'm making a Dresden plate, it's very important that at this point here, can you see that? Yeah, at this point here, you really clip that nice and close so you don't have any wonky edges. And since this is the backing, I want to cut that nice and close. Now, now I'm going to like finger press this over just like I did with my other runner, sort of finger press that. Now, it doesn't matter about what's going on in the circle, okay? The matter, the, the matter is here, this point. So now, I can sort of see this one. I don't know if it's going to do it, though. I'll do one at a time. Trying to, yeah, just trying to match up these, sort of matching up this point there, but then being aware of that point there to keep my my distance. So I'm going to put this one over to here, keeping my finger there real good, being, ne not, being careful not to pull this because it is on the bias. I'm just laying this down, quarter inch, flattening and smoothing. The most important point is this point here. I'm going to just do one or two little back stitches. Now I know in the middle back here, I'm going to have, in the middle of the back, I'm going to have these um, threads, but I'll cut them off any, again. So that's, that's, let's see, do you understand? That's, that, that's stitched down. So I'm, yeah, that's stitched down. So look, it's sort of quilted. <laughs> oh. So now, again, being aware of my points here, I'm just going to go around my whole sort of centerpiece topper. 
I think it's a very quick, hopefully, effective way to make a, a Dresden plate. Um, yeah, maybe. So I'm going to, let me see, I'll push this over here. Now my edges are nice, see they're nice and finished, but it's stitched here, it's already stitched. So now it's going slightly, no actually it's okay, oh no it's actually going a bit smaller, hmm, well, yeah, I'll still do the quarter inch. Anyway, trial and error. Just figure it out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You won't see this. <laughs> if it works, you'll see this video. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do a slight, slight, uh, like a more of a scant quarter inch. You see how that works? Because it's going a little bit sm small on me. So let me come over here. Let me push that over. Finger press it. Yeah, I'm losing. Oh well, I'm losing my um sort of circle here oh maybe not because that was that was uh this is getting a bit high hmm well may maybe it's ending up a little bit smaller but it still will work out well we'll see how it goes i'm going to be well I'll just do a few more it's working up smaller when i'm actually stitching it which is fine because I've just laid it out in general. So it's just a little bit of a smaller Dresden plate with a proper quarter of an inch. Obviously when I'm just laying it out and pinning it, it's not it's not accurate. So hopefully though when I get to the end all the way around to the be the beginning, it'll be it'll be um it'll be nice. Really flattening that and, and sort of stretching that. Yeah, my points are matching. It's just my circle's getting sm a bit smaller. That's all right. Oh my. Looks like a big sunflower. <laughs> I don't know what color, if it does work, I don't know what color circle I'm going to put in there yet. In the middle. I like quite like the brown. Yeah, my, my points are matching. Yeah, it's just getting a bit smaller. So anyway, I'm going to continue this around and um, I will be back to show you my progress. But like, there you go, that's, that's stitched on there. So I will be back and show you my progress. It's probably going to be a bit smaller, which is fine, which is fine. Still decent looking, still decent. And that's done. That's stitched down and done. So um, I see how this, see how this goes. So. You know me. I am not one to shy away from telling you, oops, that me went messed up. Um, it messed up. And I, qu I can't quite figure it out. Actually, it's not really messed up. Look how pretty. Look how pretty that looks. Can you see that? Look at that. So pr very, very pretty. I started here. I started at this point, And it's sewn beautifully. Look. It's sewn down. It's sewn down. My dress and plate is sewn down. Except my little edges, which are up. But they're nice and they're, they're finished. They're finished off. They're finished. If a little table runner, it's fine. Um, you could just stitch right around that. But I'm not finished sewing here. This is lovely and flat. It has, it's all sort of stitched. I have to cut away all of that, that, that rubbish back there. But um, it's all stitched down, okay? You won't be seeing the back anyway. I cut 20. I cut 10 of these, as you saw, and I cut 10 pattern. Well, I, I started here at this point, this sparkly fabric here, and I have two left, right? I have two left, one which is a pattern and one which is this one. Well... I thought I laid it out like quarter inch, quarter inch seams as it were, overlapping, quarter inch seams, quarter inch, but look what happened. So quarter inch seam, quarter inch seam, look. I am short an entire blade. Now I'm not quite sure how that happened because if I had sewn, I've done Dresden plates and they sew up beautifully. I've, I've, I've done them 
uh, I've done 20 blade I've done this size and I get 20 with a quarter inch seam right around so I don't know whether it was the act of sewing it down which sort of shrunk it I'm not quite sure but now I'm in a dilemma right so I have I have a beautiful sort of topper here which I'll figure out I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with the felt here um, obviously this is just decoration only but now what do I do because I was orange print orange print orange print so what I have done is I just was looking and I thought, oh no, that's a bit dark. Hmm, that's too dark. So what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to cut. That one's too dark though. Um, I'm going to cut another piece of, of uh, fabric. Excuse me, I'm, again, I'm just in the, this is just a selvage. I'm gonna does that one look a bit better see so what what I'm gonna end up is a print next to a print do you really notice it maybe not do you really notice that maybe not because this is a sort of orange maybe this is a bolder orange so what I'm gonna do with this one not this one this is a bit too dark I think I haven't I haven't done I haven't done that yet to make the point but Actually, no, I don't like that one. I have this fabric over here. Um, I have this pumpkin fabric here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over right now and I'm going to cut and I'm going to make one of this pumpkin fabric. I'm going to make a blade. I'm going to cut it this size. I'm going to do it out of this fabric. And then I'll sort of try to slot it in this area here and I'll see if that works. So what I've decided to do is looking at this I decided I changed it up I use this fabric uh, a fabric that was here this sort of uh, cornucopia the corn the apples I use this fabric and I I cut my piece and then I did my top like I showed you when I was chain piecing and then I think the dark just adds slight bit of relief uh, you know interest and you don't really notice you don't really notice um, a glaring difference or do you <laughs> probably you do but now 21 blades I don't know go figure so I'm gonna put this here this way having matched up my top over here so my this Dresden plate for the first time ever making my Dresden plate I've made that dre these Dresden plates a million times I use 20 blades this one is 21 so I don't know maybe it's this sort of quilt as you go and it's not really a quilt this is it's not a quilt this is just a it could even a little be a wall hanging or whatever it is so now there's my 21 I'm gonna finger press that well I'm gonna put this one over here making sure to match up this top edge here not worrying about the center as much I've stuck to my quarter of an inch seen perhaps if I had done a scant quarter but that was a whole blade off I mean I, I don't I don't think a, even a scant quarter inch would have compensated for that yeah look look at that so here's this is attached and that's attached and look so 21 blades fits beautifully <laughs> and it's all stitched down look at that isn't that funny so if you're going to be doing this be aware that you're gonna have to cut 21 blades or maybe you guys will work out a bit better than mine. As, as I said, this is experimental. I've never done this before. And um, I'm still debating whether you're going to see this or not. <laughs> Why not? Uh, oh, now how do I fix How do I do this? <laughs> okay. That's so funny. How do I finish this? Oh, mate, they match up. They sort of match up. <gasps> But now how do I do it? Oh, jeez. I don't think you're going to see this, folks. I don't think you're going to see it. Unless I do. No. <laughs> so, quilt as you go, Dresden plates do not work. Nah, it doesn't match up. It doesn't match up. It's just slightly too small. Look at that. Nah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, well, quilt as you go, Dresden plates do not work because first of all I can't match it well I could match it up if I jiggery pokeried it and if I did a 
some kind of trim right there. Nah, doesn't work. <laughs> so, how would I have done that? So if I put... Nah, doesn't work. Hmm. Nope. This does not work. So let me just tell you, this does not work because there's two raw edges there. I'm not really bothered about there because I can twist, I can turn that down and make that point. But I, I'm trying to figure out this one right here. Well, again, if it's if it's just like a decorative thing, I could I could do a um a decorative zigzag stitch, sort of finish that raw edge. Um. Well, let me think about this, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> Okay, so obviously <laughs> this isn't a how-to tutorial because I've messed up here. But never one to shy away from a challenge. What I thought is I have this pattern fabric here, right? And I just need a little sliver. So I've just cut a hunk of fabric out of this same fabric. Let me cut this bit off here. Oh, excuse me. Um, and I'm just going to see if I can just sort of let me just see here cut this straight this is a bit too wide I'll cut it down I'm just gonna cut I'm just gonna again do a a, a, um, a, a more of a uh, you know quilt as you go I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna put the pretty side of this fabric which is this fabric here can you see that I've cut a, a piece I don't need to cut it that wide obviously so this is about maybe an inch wide because I only need a hair's breadth to finish up this thing here and since this is a pattern I'm going to put the pretty side of this piece here onto this blade here this is raw edge but I'll figure this out when I get there now, this is all sewn down here I'm just going to stitch it up to there now I have to figure out this bit up here I'll figure out when I get to it so let me just turn this around yeah let me just see I'm not going to stitch all the way up to that point. I'm going to see what it looks like. Again, not a tutorial, just a <laughs> a ghetto version of a <laughs> of a Dresden plate. Okay, so now look. Now what I'm going to do, since it's it's a pattern, I can just stitch that down, and then figure this one out here. When I get to that, I'm going to just stitch that. I'm going to turn that piece under. Just there. And you can't really tell since it's a, a busy pattern. But I'm just going to top stitch this little piece. Again, this is not this is not a proper tutorial, as you can see. And then on this one, I'm going to turn it under somehow, so I so I I, I don't lose the point there. I'll, I'll fiddle, fiddle around with that. I'll fiddle this one, turn that under a little bit, and then turn this one, <laughs> and then turn it over. And then... Stitch that down. Again, obviously not a tutorial because this is sort of messed up. But when you actually look at it, it's all right. There's just a little, little bit there. And there, if you really weren't looking for it, could you see it? Not so bad. So there <laughs> is my stitched on Dresden plate now what I'm going to do again bear with me <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this but how I'm going to cut a circle here and I am going to put a little piece of um, batting um, I'm going to show you um, I'm going to put a little tiny piece of batting on that like I, I do like to put my um I do like to um 
put my put a piece of batting under my circle so I'm going to go cut that out now and then I'm just going to stitch I'm going to glue and stitch that on right now so here is my sewn on jiggery poke read <laughs> which you can't really even tell unless you were looking for it. Um, little, little table topper, just a little, just where with a candle on it. But now what I've done here is I have a mason jar lid. Now it's slightly, just a slightly small. So what I did is I'm going to use black. I'm going to use black. I cut out two pieces of black fabric here. Okay. And what I'm going to do, and I've cut out just there. It's a little bit bigger, big sunflower, right? lovely what i'm going to do is i also took the same size as the as the um that mason jar lid i did a piece of batting okay now what i what i'm going to do is i glue on this batting I'll put that on there and again this is not washable this is felt i just glue that on and then i glue on one piece of fabric one piece of black fabric now i have to get out malia's little baby machine do that one and then I like to do a, another piece of fabric just around the edges I gotta get out Malia's machine because my Juki as you know does not have a blanket stitch and I'm going to do a nice big bold you won't be able to see it black blanket stitch on that so trust me I'm gonna do a blanket stitch and it will start to look quilty but now I'm almost done because what am I gonna do so what I'm going to do is, again, not washable or anything, just a little sweet thing. After I blanket stitch that, I have a pair of pinking shears, okay? We all have pinking shears from my grandma. And I'm going to carefully, you could do this with regular scissors, I'm going to carefully cut away the felt around my points, leaving about a quarter of an inch. Look how sweet. I'm just going to go right around, and, th and there, that's our, uh, that's our, that's our topper finished. <laughs> Didn't take long, a bit messed up. So it has sort of like a, um, it's sort of like a, a, a shadow of itself underneath with the brown felt. Again, not washable, just purely decorative. But look how sweet. I did this with my little mug rugs. rugs. Well, this is where my bit was. It was a little bit, a little bit jacked up, but it looks great. So I learned, I learned to quilt as you go. You, I, you, you can quilt it. I mean, I, I, I suppose you could do this like as a quilt. You know, yeah, like with batting or stuff. I don't know. This is just for this. Just a, just a quick little project to add a little bit of happy to your holiday table. And look at that. Done. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. The edges are not, if you want to, you can go and you could have blanket stitched that on, but I don't, I don't, I don't need to do that. I think this is fine. There's no raw edges here. I'm going to go blanket stitch that as soon as I get out my Malia's machine. And then there I cut away all of the little threads. This won't be showing, but I, but then I'm going to have my blanket stitch around there. And there is my lovely little topper what do you think folks i think that's sweet dresden plate quilt as you go done messed up 21 21 blades but uh maybe you can compensate for that when you start to do it because you saw as i went along what happened it shrunk up for whatever reason but there you go so there i hope you love it see ya Hey! Oh. 
hope that you'll take it into her side.